Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to fix some small issues in the car behind me using the multimeter that we shot in the last video, LM2020. So one of the first things I want to do is look at something basic and simple like checking the ohm load of your speaker. So on these CT Sounds woofers, on the bottom, it'll show right here by the coil how many ohms it is. In this case, it is a dual 4 ohm, so we're going to check for that. So in this case, you'll take your meter, you will turn it to the ohm setting right here. It's very bright out today, it's very difficult to see. Now we will connect our leads to the terminal cup on the speaker, just right here. Black to black, red to red, and we will see what it reads. So this reads 3.8 ohms. This is a 4 ohm speaker. This is perfectly fine. We'll go to the other coil. Black to black. Red to red. And in this case, we're reading 3.6 ohms. This speaker is perfectly fine. So if you're having an issue and it's not playing and you pull your speaker out of the car like I did here and you test it out and it has a coil that is really bad or reads really funny, then it, the speaker itself may be bad. If it doesn't read anything or if it reads really, really high, um, then the speaker would be no good. Plus you can push on the speaker evenly and if you hear any scratching sounds, it's a dud, throw it away. So I'm going to hook this one back up since it's fine. white to black, red to red, and on the other side make sure you hook up both coils, black to black, red to red, like so, and then we will put it in the enclosure. Once you get your speakers put back in the box and you got them wired up, you can actually check to make sure that the whole box is wired correctly and get the final ohm load that's going to the amplifier. And I'll show you how to do that just now. This is right here. We can check the same way we did on the other side, only now we're going to check all four coils at the same time. The black one, the red one, we're going to make sure we're on ohms. I'm at 1.1, 1.2 ohms. It's supposed to be one ohm. It's right there about one. This is fine. This is hooked up properly. We're gonna hook it up to the amp and hook it up to the one ohm stable monoblock amp. Let's see what she does. I'm gonna hook our main power wire up. Slide the box in. So now we're going to try to diagnose some issues inside the car. Since we've tested the woofers and we know that they're working properly, we set them back to the amplifier. We're going to actually check at the amplifier and see if we can find some other small issues. These are the amplifiers we're going to be working with today. We have a factory integration, the audio control, a four channel, and a mono block. So the first thing that we're actually going to check for on the amplifiers, we want to make sure that we have power on the power terminals of the amplifier. Right now everything is off, so there shouldn't be any power on the remote wire, but if we have power going to our amp, that will eliminate many other problems. So now we're going to check the DC voltage of the amplifiers to make sure we have power. If we take our meter and we turn it to the little V with the three lines below, that is DC. We're going to check voltage at these two amplifiers, red to red, black to black. Let's see what our voltage is. Looks like we have 12.7 volts. Let's check this one, black to black, red to red. Oh no, we only have two volts. Well, we can look into it. 
and find out why. Now in my car, the battery is behind this panel in the back. If we pull it off, we can see the battery. Now we can do a couple simple tests to determine exactly which wire is not connected properly. So the first thing we can do is check for the voltage at the amplifier again. We have 1.3 volts. That's not enough to turn on an amplifier. So if we check our voltage at our battery, we have 12.7 volts. That is correct. If we check the voltage at the battery and the voltage, the negative at the amp, we have 11.46 volts. That's all right. Now let's check the positive of the amp to the negative of the battery. We have 1.2 volts. That's not going to work. We need 12. So in my car, I have the positive wire going from the battery over to these circuit breakers and then out to the amplifiers. So let's check power at the circuit breaker. So if we look in here, we can actually see that the circuit breaker is turned off. So let's turn our circuit breaker back on and check our voltage at the amp. Looks like they all come on. We have the power light over here on the LC. So everything came on and is working. Now I'm going to show you a couple other features that you can do with this meter, like make sure which channels are actually producing sound and make sure that the subwoofer is actually making sound as well. So if we take our meter and we put it on voltage AC and we hold this R button, it puts it into the graph mode. And this is where we're going to see the sound actually come out of the speakers. We're going to be able to watch it with this right here. Okay, so we're going to put the negative on the negative terminal on the subwoofer and the positive on the positive terminal on the subwoofer. And we're going to play some music and we are going to see what it sounds like. Now if you want me to show you some other features of the multimeter, let me know in the comments. There's other things that this can do being a full-fledged multimeter. It can show you the current draw, it can show you the frequency, it can show you uh, many other things including the AC voltage which we're going to use to see the sound, the DC voltage which we're going to use to test batteries, and the resistance which we're going to use to test the speakers. But you can also do the continuity test uh, to check if a wire is fine from one point to another. There's uh, many other features you can do with this multimeter but a lot of them don't pertain to car audio in particular and there's many other videos that will show how to use the other basic functionalities of a multimeter like this one the most important thing about having this one is that graphing functionality which will show us what the sound looks like so you can actually see what you are hearing